What's up ladies and gents, it's your boy Headshot Santa here And today, I'm gonna start a awesome new series It's Bonerific And it's Megan Fox Sexy And I know you guys like Megan Fox If you don't, then you're gay It's official Who does not like Megan Fox is gay If you don't know who she is Go search it up right now And start wanking off Cause she's hot Yeah So guys this is a new series, and I'm gonna call this Weapon Analysis. Analysis. I cannot say that word at all, but fuck it. I'm cool. I'm Hedgehog Santo. So, <clears throat> what this Weapon Al. Okay, I'm not gonna try to say that anymore. Just the weapon thingy, Bobby. Well, what that is contained is that me, Midge, Beebs, and Twig is gonna choose one category of weapons that we want to do. Well, mine is submachine guns. And the others, well, you have to watch their videos because it's a surprise. And I like keeping surprises and it's cool and makes me feel special. But mine is submachine guns. Submachine guns suck balls, in my opinion. In this game, submachine guns are really, really bad. It's only good pretty much by close quarters and shit like that. The only submachine gun that's good is AK-74. Seriously. That gun is good, but it's good because it's pretty much like a assault rifle. Or assault rifles are like the most best guns in the world in this game, and it's in Morph 2 as well. But what I'm gonna do in this series is that I'm gonna start from the first gun what you unlock until the last gun you unlocked. So pretty much this gun, MP5, which I'm playing with now with rapid fire, sight of hand. Uh, wait, yeah, sight of hand, marathon. And Hardline Pro, because I cannot survive without my Hardline, because I like those kill streaks and shit like that. Until I want to go to the Caparis, this is the the legendary weapon that you unlock when you have all the submachine guns unlocked. And yeah, pretty much all the games are a bit the same except the AK-74. It's a completely different gun in my opinion. But yeah, this is the first episode, so. I hope you guys enjoy it and give it a thumbs up because I'm talking and I know you guys love my voice. Admit it. Yeah, I see you, stalker. Yeah, I see you in that screen. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at you, you twat. Yeah, 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 stop, stop pointing yourself. Yes, okay. Whatever. Okay, this is the MP5. What I just say, I'm using the attachment rapid fire because I tried it out first the extended max because then you have to like reload and you can like always go through action shit but in my opinion rapid fire is the best because it kills him really really fast when once you qu close quarters this gun has a pretty high fire rate as a bit of recoil in my opinion like if you wanted to pick up guys from long range you have to what's called like like fire like a bit you're not gonna hold the trigger in you have to just fire burst of bullets on people because then you can manage the recoil a bit and that's what you only have to think with MP5. It's really good with hip fire and close range and shit like that. It's really good with that. But just to, if you want to get pick up people from long range, you just gotta do these little bursts on people and uh, eventually die because long range sucks balls. And look at that nice hip fire without steady aim. But um, yeah, so the so the recoil is the only negative side of this weapon, but it doesn't have that much recoil. Uh, the ammunition when you get with weapons is pretty good compared to the other ones that I tried out. The other weapons that I tried were like the mini Uzi, the Scorpion, you run out of ammo so badly. It's, it's like necessary to have like scavenger and shit like that. And there we go, my nice puppy is. Who does not like puppies? Oh yeah, and that's me tubing, so I'm sorry about that. But that's when I get my puppies, and I love puppies. They're my cute puppies that like to kill human meat and rip them alive and then rape them doing doggy style. And whatever else. So, um, my kill streaks for this game is UAV, Blackbird, and Dogs. I have this setup because I'm using headquarters, and headquarters, the spawns are pretty much fucked up. Like, my Cyrus's vagina. Yep, her vagina is fucked up as well. But, um, what's it called? Yeah, I'm using the spy plane because I want to pre like pretty much predict where they spawn because with headquarters is really, really hard to know where they're spawning and. Yeah, that's why I like to have the spy plane so I can build up towards my black bird. And with the black bird, you can yeah, pretty much get your dogs because 
you know what facing it shit like that and yeah, you just know where everyone is and that's just a nice feeling to get with uh yeah with uh, the blackbird so you can get your dogs pretty much instantly when you get your when once you get your uh blackbird in the air you can just get your dogs just like like snap but this is the map WMD it's not really a good submachine gun map but luckily the noobs I was playing with I could get a good gameplay and look at that camp Jesus um what's well called yeah this is not really good submachine gun map in my opinion because it's pretty big and open and stuff like that but I like the map but I strongly advise more like a submachine gun or a sniper or LMG something that yeah you can like has not like less than recording you can like pick up people from pretty big like long distances and shit like that not like some machine guns because you want to be really close to them but as you can see i never really run open because i got some machine gun and i can probably get hit by people really easy i always go to from building to another building because then i can interact with other people that are really short range and then you're not shine shine with my mp5 with rapid fire yeah so that's why i want to go from buildings to buildings because if i stay outside it's going to be a bit hard to uh, get close to them because like what I said the recoil is a bit like a downside with MP5 but I strongly advise to use this gun for leveling up by the beginning because it's a overall a good gun in my opinion it's one of the best submachine guns and uh, yeah so I advise you to use this gun once you proceed to where you're like level 1 and you want to start leveling up and shit like that but uh, yeah this is a good gun in my opinion and uh, as you see that I can get a second blackbird, but unfortunately I cannot get to my dogs because I run like a like a little girl and I get headshot in my face. And that was not funny. And uh so yeah. And the reason why I use marathon because I want to get marathon pro so I can get unlimited sprinting. And also so I can get close to the enemies and I can move fast between buildings and shit like that. I could actually I should actually use lightweight. But uh yeah, lightweight is what happens with lightweight is I run a lot and then like I find there's an enemy right in front of me and then I want to zoom in so it takes longer because I'm sprinting and shit like that and that kind of fucks up my gameplay all the time but uh that's why I don't use lightweight and I need hardline because I want to get the the uh my kill streaks done because for some reason if I don't use hardline it's a lot harder for me to get good kill streaks and yeah I just really like enjoying hardline because that's why I have and pretty much all weapons in this game so uh I, that's pretty much a necessar necessity for me and uh yeah that's why i'm using those things as for scythe hand because scythe hand pro big advantage in my opinion but uh yeah i'm here to talk about now with headquarters headquarters in my opinion one of the fastest way to level up through uh through the game people say that search and destroy is also really fast to level up but in my opinion search and destroy is one boring game as you see, I just finished. I get a pretty sexy score with my MP5K footage. It's, uh, I, I can see whatever that is, but it's pretty good with MP5K, and you guys will hear me soon and later. Okay, love you guys. Later.